Equal the Waves 2. So I hadn't planned on recording this episode back to these two episodes back to back, but I decided you know what screw it we will. So I went ahead, edited the save, brought the Germans in on our side, reset tensions with them as well, just to simulate that, you know, as a result of this alliance agreement, temporarily of course, we've managed to reset our tensions back down to nothing. Uh I don't think adding the Germans in resulted in the blockade being broken. I think just reloading the save probably would have done that, even if I hadn't brought the Germans in. Don't quote me on that though, I don't actually know that for certain. That's just my guess. Because I don't see a reason for why the blockade would break just because I brought the Germans in. Uh, I mean, it, I could understand it if they were blockading um, Great Britain now, but that's not the case, so yeah. Also, we set our submarine policy to prize rules. I don't need them on uh, fleet support anymore. Well, I say anymore. Uh, I just don't want them on fleet support right now. I don't think that's particularly useful. I'd rather for them to try and sink British merchants. Well, British and Italian, but mostly British. Now, I did, when I was modifying the save, notice that the British are actually fairly high on their unrest. They're actually at an unrest level of 8. Which is pretty damn high, to be honest. They could fairly easily break. I assume this is as a result of ridiculous naval spending, or at least what they consider to be ridiculous. Partly as a result of trying to keep up with me. Because my naval spending just doesn't go down, basically. Let's go ahead and end the turn and see what happens. Uh, oh, well, before I forget, unlike last time, let me make sure I actually press the start button on my timer. There we go. Oh, convoy defense around Formosa. I expect them to not give me battle? Yeah, I thought as much. Battleship engagement around the Philippines. Again, I expect them to not give me battle. Improved power rammers, always nice. With our fleet firmly in control of the waters in the North American East Coast, our troops have invaded the British possession of New Brunswick. And they just sunk the Memphis, which sucks. But it's an old Pueblo, so it doesn't suck that bad. And they sunk one of our corvettes in a gun duel. Oh, wow. Um... Yeah, I get the feeling the British might actually not be in this war for very long. Much shorter than I originally anticipated. Partly because their unrest level is so damn high, I did not realize it was as high as it was. But apparently, it's really damn high. <laughs> well, while those troops are busy invading New Brunswick, let's go ahead and also launch an invasion of Nova Scotia. And it looks like the British are probably going to be a band- yeah. As a result of bringing the Germans in, it looks like the British did in fact abandon the North American East Coast. They have like nothing here. Which, I mean, I'm fine with, of course. Convoy attack. I don't expect them to give me battle. Yeah. Again, do not expect them to give me battle. Eh, they might here. Nope. Uh, this one's against Italy. Well, Italy's an idiot if they give me battle. Yeah. Oh, Germany. Okay, for whatever reason, the game apparently has already put Germany through a number of months for this agreement. Um, so yes, extend it. Uh, magnetic pistols. Torpedoes do more damage if used. And we already took New Brunswick. Wow, that was fast. I was ridiculously fast. And still no torpedo bombers for me. Oh, we still haven't invaded Nova Scotia. Wow. Um, this is actually ending up a lot easier than I anticipated, because apparently the, uh, the AI just says no to every battle now. 
and we're already jumping to war or to peace and I get basically nothing here. Oh boy, okay. Wow. I was not expecting that, but the British were forced to uh, make peace immediately. So, um, that's a thing. What I'm probably going to do right here is, uh, I'm going to take nothing and, uh, I'm going to save, pause the recording and we'll force the British back into continuing the war and we'll just act as if peace never occurred more or less. Cause I, yeah. And I'll remember to give the British... Eh, no, we'll just act like the Germans invaded Cyprus. Well, no, the Germans couldn't invade Cyprus. Because they don't have any... Yeah, they wouldn't be able to do that. So I'll give the British Cyprus back as well when I'm doing this. So, uh... One moment. Okay, and we're back. Um... Technically we're at war, the game should pop up the other stuff as soon as I press and turn. Uh, yeah, whatever. Huh? Okay, never mind. One second. There we go. Had to change one other flag that I forgot to change, which was a flag called at war or something like that, which was set to negative one as soon as we finish the war. So there we go, that's uh, that's fixed now. And now this, the war results menu shows up. Obviously we're starting back off at zero VP because I can't really do anything about that. Um, but let's go ahead and continue on. Another invasion of Halifax, thank you very much game. And I did, like I said, I gave the British Cypress back. Cruiser action around there. Obviously, they're not going to give me battle. Bolted hull, increased muzzle velocity. Lost a Corvette. Battle between our ally and Italy. The a German armored cruiser sunk. That sucks. Um, I guess we're going to be sending our fleet. Uh, no, I don't want to do it. I was thinking of it. Of sending our fleet here in the North American East Coast up into... Well, I don't actually have to because as it turns out, the, uh, the Germans now have a sizable fleet all of a sudden in Northern Europe. I assume they probably had a bunch of ships mothballed or something or in reserve fleet or something like that. And those things don't show up on this bar would be my guess. That would also explain why the French have s considered so few uh, or so, such a small sort of score here. Despite having seven dreadnoughts, their bar is absolutely tiny. So, okay, yeah, they that's probably the issue there. Uh, I'm hoping that the British don't decide to just surrender again. They should have, I believe they have zero unrest now, so there's no reason for them to do that. Battleship engage, okay, apparently the British are attempting to invade the Philippines even though they have literally no navy, and the game should not be letting them do this. Oh, maybe? There, there we go. There we go. Battle around Bougainville. But the old Indianas. Well, I say old. They're not that old. They're 1939 revision. Give or take about. And it's uh, 1941, so only about two years old, though the ships themselves are older. Go ahead, launch your search planes. 
here. The enemy should be right over here. Presumably they launched from the Solomon Islands. Oh, we also have a uh, constellation as well, which is for some reason being shown as green, which is the color I have set for Italy. Because reasons, I guess. Uh, no reports back yet. There we go. Somebody's reported two dreadnoughts way the hell down there. Okay, looks like we're going full speed ahead, boys, because I was not expecting them to be that far out. But it turns out, they might be. Okay. They're gonna go for that guy. The other guys are gonna go for those dreadnoughts. Of course, I'm assuming that these guys are were getting accurate information on their location and heading. And of course they can always change after the report comes in. So there's no real way of guaranteeing that uh, we're going to find them where we expect them to be. Which is why you keep scouting. But looks like we are. They are, in fact, in this region. I do also see... saw a report about uh, enemy aircraft approaching. Yep. Now there's really nothing I can do. Except request land-based cap for you guys. Uh, and I can only request it for one, so... Uh, you're on your own, buddy. Your nice 44 heavy AA factor will hopefully allow you to survive. You fired your 12. Oh no, never mind. That's their their guys. Okay, yeah, our guy has not shot yet. Let's see, constellation. Let's see, the Charlotte is attempting to provide some support. Ah, yes, because you guys have tons of heavy A factor. So we've damaged a couple of their aircraft. We have a combined A factor of 78 over here. Charlotte's avoiding torpedo. Oh, are they going for the Charlotte? I wasn't paying attention. I thought they were going for the Constellation. I mean, I would. But you do you guys. You do you. If you want to go after the armored cruisers instead of the battle cruisers, be my guest. Um, yep, okay, that is in fact where they are. They appear to be heading south now. Yeah, they are going for my cruisers for some reason. Which is just weird. Oh, it looks like they have a CVL. Also, we're level bombing them, which is... No. No, guys. That's... That's not gonna work. I mean, let's be real here, guys. Level bombing just ain't gonna work when you're trying to shoot stuff out at sea. Oh, Pueblo got hit. Oh, it blew up as well. Charlotte's also been hit, so Charlotte... I'm not losing another one of you guys. You might be older, but you're still useful. So you go to Buca. You get out of here. San Diego's gonna keep going. Oh, shit. They are much further north than I was anticipating. 
I thought they were still heading south-ish, so... Whoops. Constellation, you just sort of bur Okay. I don't know if that was actually a CL. Because it did change to CL for a second there. It is in fact a CL. Oh, the Cleopatra is a fairly recent design of theirs. Now leave the damn Charlotte alone. Charlotte did nothing to you. Except exist, which I suppose is an offense for you, but that's besides the point. Charlotte got hit and then avoids into more torpedoes and it's... It's dead in the water. Damn. So we lost two armored cruisers. For basically nothing. Ah uh, yes, the Indianas. The slow dreadnoughts of ours. Okay, there's the Empress of India. Which has... 11 inch belt and 3 inch deck. Uh, you can pen that starting at give or take around 19,000 yards, which is within range, so you should be able to pen the belt in theory. Or at least you have a chance. Well, the Huron has spotted a submarine. There's a submarine somewhere around here, apparently, so, uh... Our Dreadnoughts are gonna go further north to try and go around. Oh, here we go. Yes, fire control. Improved director actually gives us a bonus. We're finally getting bonuses to our accuracy. Oh, that is an ancient design. Holy crap. Although it does say it's a... It doesn't say old British dreadnought. So the design itself is old, but they have apparently made some modifications recently, which is probably within these last 10 years, they gave it those dual purpose four inch uh, tertiaries. Which is the only reason why it is not being labeled as an old British dreadnought. Same with these. These things probably got a recent dish upgrade, which is maybe adding those light AA guns. Oh, they're firing at the Huron now. That's fine with me. And oh, crap, the Constellation has lost all of its forward guns. No, you, you don't need to launch those things. Outside of arc right now, probably still going to be outside of arc. I would probably prefer a high to be honest rather than a low but you know what screw it take a shot you never know you might get lucky and those is emerge so you get reloads oh Huron is gonna sink definitely that sucks yeah this battle is actually gonna be harder for us than uh, anticipated Partly because we are so out of position. And San Diego sinking now. Almost within range of our dreadnoughts. There we go. Now you're within range of our dreadnoughts and these guys should be able to do quite a bit of damage against you. Uh, assuming we can actually land any hits, which we don't have a good... Uh, oh, well, shit. <laughs> Empress of India just lost all its rear guns, so that's nice. I don't know who did that, but I'm assuming it was a constellation. Despite how much I would love for it to have been the South Carolina or the Indiana. 
South Carolina's managing to get some hits. The Indiana, not so much. Yeah, Indiana's kind of sucking at the whole hitting the target thing. And you actually have pretty decent uh, chance of hitting, to be honest. Your issue is target aspect. Well, same with the South Carolina, but you know, South Carolina is able to hit. And these light cruisers are just going to focus on those destroyers. Oh, that was a bad idea for you guys. Indiana just got nice two shots in the Benbow. San Diego's already sinking, you idiots. I want you to go after the Cleopatra if you can. San Diego, I'm guessing, just took another torpedo hit. Shielding the Baltimore or the Chicago, or both, I'm not sure. Sadly, they are slightly faster than me. At least their top speed is. But the Empress of India is kind of slowing it down, so... Pretty sure they're not actually going at full speed. San Diego takes another torpedo hit, I'm assuming. And another, maybe. They just hate the San Diego. I don't know why. But they seem to have a problem with it. A really big problem with the San Diego. I want you to focus on the... Oh, yes, I forgot. Your, your rear guns don't work. Or your forward guns don't work. You know what? Just go to Buka. Constellation. I'd rather not lose you if I can avoid it at all. And you guys actually don't have any torpedoes, apparently. So that's an issue. That's fine, Constellation. You're going home anyway. You don't need ammo if you're going home. Oh, your rear guns are disabled, so that's not necessarily permanent, unlike the destroyed on the Empress of India. Continue to pound the Empress of India. She's dead in the water. And their armored cruiser is sunk. Go for that CL. Now, you guys should have some decent... Heavy, yeah, you've got some pretty good heavy AA factor. You got about 100, which is pretty good for two ships. I don't recall, do you guys have any? You do, but it's basically non-existent. Constellation took a torpedo. I was looking at the wrong thing. They're going for the Constellation, not my Dreadnoughts. Which, I guess they really just want to sink it. Which I can't really fault them for wanting to do. And Cleopatra's down.
that you're basically dead in the water now so let's go and focus on the dreadnought out there that we haven't identified or well rather we've unidentified there we go now they're actually coming for our dreadnoughts one enemy aircraft damaged And night's coming. So now they escape and we go back home. We took a little more losses than I would have liked, to be honest, but we'll live. You go up there. I want you to finish off the Empress of India if you can. Assuming you can find it. And looks like the answer to that is going to be no, so just go home. Let's just get everybody to safety. We damaged them. And the South Carolina got torpedoed. But it did not sink, which is fine. Oh, they actually had four dreadnoughts, apparently. We sunk one, medium damage to two, which is weird, because the only two I recall actually directly engaging. This one that sunk has to be the Empress of India, right? Um, yeah, that's the Empress of India. The Benbow we did medium damage to. Apparently they had the Rodney out there. I'm assuming that damage was probably all aircraft, right? Yeah, it took a bomb hit. That destroyed the B turret. And apparently that resulted in medium damage. I'm a little surprised by that because that is not actually that much damage, but... You do you, game. And the undamaged one, the Howie here, which is a repulse class. The Rodney is a Rodney, yeah, that's what I thought. You have advanced director. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. British have better directors than I do. Which is definitely helping them out, but they have crappy 16 inch guns from the looks of it. Oh no, they do have quality zero, it's just some of their stuff has not been updated to quality zero, so some of their stuff is still quality negative one. Better rate of fire, better AP. Baffled by the problems of improved automated fuse setting. Apparently they dominate the seas around Polynesia. And we torpedoed and sunk an Italian AV, which isn't always nice. Now, game, I'm a little confused by how the... Oh, yeah, I guess I can see how they control the seas around here because I lost a bunch of stuff. Do I send anything there? The answer to that is probably going to be yes. What do I send there, however, is the question. Because I don't have much in the area that I can actually send there. I'd have to pull troops out of the North American East Coast to support you. Or out of Southeast Asia. Which I suppose I could do. But I think I'm more inclined to go with North American East Coast, which has a ridiculous number of or, uh, destroyers. So, uh, what's the oldest? The Warringtons here. Along with the Jenkins. You guys, South Pacific. Off you go. Enjoy. We're losing tons of money. You're going to say no to that. With the enemy fleet unable to interfere, our troops invade Nova Scotia. Improved range for cruisers. Gradual damage control. And there we go. Our first level of radar. 
and a setback in combat supply loading, which I'm going to assume is um, invasion range, but I could be wrong on that. And the Germans have a new fighter that's rumored to be faster than ours, and Germany has crushed the rebels in Cameroon. And we sunk a British Corvette. Germany gives us some more VP. Okay, we're losing a little bit less money now that I don't have those destroyers being rebuilt. I don't know which destroyers those were. Um, I think it was the Strets. Yeah, it looks like it was the Strets. You guys are going to go to Southeast Asia? Because as it turns out, I don't have any destroyers in Southeast Asia. The Strets were probably in Southeast Asia, but you know they had to go back home to get their rebuilds, and as a result, they weren't where they needed to be anymore. Let's see, so we're invading Nova Scotia. Do I want to go ahead and launch an invasion of Newfoundland? Sure. Oh, that's considered outside our range, because the only... The port of St. John's is there, and we're just not allowed to invade on this side of the island and march in. So, okay. Um, What do they got here? Not much in Southeast Asia. I also don't have really anything in the Caribbean. I'm kind of inclined to go and say let's try and take their Caribbean holdings now that we have the invasion of Nova Scotia going. Or will you let me invade there? Nope. As per usual, the North American West Coast, or British Columbia rather, is uh, just not allowed to be invaded for reasons. Yeah, I figured as much. Oh, unexpected battle. We're going to be forced to fight this, but they have an estimated armored cruiser and destroyer, so I probably have an armored cruiser and destroyer. Maybe my battle cruiser. But that's not super likely. Nope, it's all destroyers, in fact. And they presumably have only their destroyers, so this should be a very fast battle. I don't see... These unexpected battles can sometimes be annoying because they they can be this type of thing. That's not a CL, I'm certain of that. That's a destroyer. It's probably a 1500 or maybe 2000 ton. No, it's a 900, and somehow you guys accidentally were trying to identify it as a light cruiser at first. Okay. Um, sure. Oh, the Struts aren't even supposed to be here. They're just passing through, but they... They got dragged into a fight. So, I guess they got a fight. I don't know, what speed are you going, out of curiosity? You seem to be going about 20 knots, so we're going to slow down to about 20. Oh, now you've slowed down to 15, and now 10. A 5. And you're sunk. And the Ericsson got hit by a torpedo, but it did not sink. And we've got to- ah, yes, I think this is the one that I did not have design schematics for. I'll have to look back on this video. Also, really? Torpedo tubes on an aircraft carrier? Really? Uh, reloads for deck-mounted torpedoes, which is nice. We'll have to add that in. And somehow you guys managed to sink a neutral liner. Great job. Still no torpedo bombers? Still no frickin' torpedo bombers for us for some reason.
Well, we'll live. Um, since the only guns we have left are guns I don't plan to use, I'm going to actually put naval guns onto low, uh, low priority research. Because I just, I don't care about them at all. In fact, at this point. Uh, fleet tactics, I'm going to actually move up to medium. I don't know where torpedo bombers come from. If they come from torpedo technology or light forces and torpedo warfare. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to high as well. Uh, I'm going to actually put AP and explosive here at low. Because you don't really need them on medium right now. Uh, turret and gun mountings can go to medium. Ship design, I'm going to actually put on medium as well, I think. I think at this point, most of all you're going to give me is weight savings. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that's going to be the case. So it's not super important. We're also going to go ahead and put machinery development on medium as well, I think. Um, oh, and we're going to try and save some money on the budget, so we're going to drop that down from 12% to 10%. Just to save a tad bit of cash. We're kind of hemorrhaging money. Are you going to actually give me this battle? Nope. I know that game. Uh, Germany wants to buy something. Yeah, we're allies, so sure. And we've gone design, or we have done an analysis of their flying boat. And stole some stuff from the Japanese, even though I'm not spying on them. So our top spy was, I guess, on a vacation in Japan and proceeded to say, you know what, while I'm here, I'm going to go and steal the designs of the Japanese Hiei class battle cruiser. Uh, Italian dive bomber. Oh, really? The Italians now have freaking dive bombers as well? Uh, yeah, sure. Brewster has a new fighter that they did as a private venture, and it's faster. Has It's straight up faster everywhere. Has a little bit more range, but not much. It's slightly more maneuver, but it does lose out a little bit on firepower. But it could make up for that. Oh shit, they are actually giving me that. That's surprising. Uh, attack enemy ships in general. Oh. Oh, okay. This is, never mind. This is me launching my invasion of the uh, Grand Bahama. This should be fairly quick and easy. I don't know why the Nevada is being shown the in the Italian colors. But we've observed this as an issue multiple times now. It's not a big deal, but it is something that happens. Unknown radar contact. Let's also yeah turn on radar so we can see. Now our radars are kind of crap. I should be noted. These early radars are not super reliable. They're bound to just randomly break, especially under fire. Nor do they have tons of range. And they're fairly quick to lose track of targets. As we observed there. Now these are probably destroyers, I'm thinking, which I kind of don't want to be where I am if those are in fact destroyers like I anticipate. Oh shit, that's a Dreadnought. Supposedly, at least. Oh shit. Nevada took a hit to its uh, X turret. But okay, it didn't do anything. Oh yeah, that's a Dreadnought. It's the Repulse class.
Oh shit, and the Tuscalo took a ton of torpedo hits. Uh, nearest port is actually to the south, which is not the direction I'd want you to be heading if I wanted you to go home, but that's where you're going to have to go, I'm afraid. And the Repulse is already dead. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Repulse. Oh, what happened to you? Holy... Yeah. You took... F 15 hits. That's... Now, I don't know how the hell you took 15 hits. I'm gonna say this real quick. 12 14-inch guns were fired at the Repulse class from the Rhode Island. You somehow ended up with 15 hits. I'm not quite sure how the logic works there unless one or multiple of those 12 shots hit and they ended up hitting multiple times, which I suppose in theory is possible, but I don't think you would consider each one of those individual hits as a separate hit. You would just say it got hit 12 times, realistically. But so be it. Um, yeah, the repulse just got wrecked. It ain't going anywhere. And Rhode Island took a torpedo. God damn it. Probably from the repulse because it has submerged torpedoes. So the Rhode Island's going to break off and it's going to go with the Tuscalo to Miami. Uh, never mind. It's going on its own because the Discalo is going to sink. Oh, and the Huntingdon is also going to have to go. I don't know what happened to it. What happened to you? You took a bunch of hits from 6 and 9 inch guns. Yeah, I guess getting pelted by a bunch of 6 and 9 inch guns will do that to you eventually. Go north. And you'll circle around if you can. Oh, Indianapolis. I forgot about you. Ah, shit. Nevada got hit. And it hit the magazine. Well, the Kentucky's still alive. Though, for how much longer is anyone's guess, really, at this point? These older designs, they ain't doing so hot. Well, it's not they're doing, they're not doing so hot. They're just getting unlucky. Kentucky just took a torpedo, because of course it did. Also, it doesn't help that they have older torpedo protections, and I can't do anything about those. I can't improve that at all. Okay, you're going home. Just go straight south. Try to get home if you can. Okay, the enemy has a ton of destroyers, and our guys just can't really deal with destroyers at night, especially. Huntingdon has a little bit that it can do. It can go a little bit faster now. Just at this point, I would say just fire at anything that moves, basically. Much easier if you just do that. I'm assuming that's another destroyer over there. But we kind of can't keep up. 
One, these are older designs, so they don't exactly have speed. Is Day gonna- no, Day's not gonna break during this. Ah oh, shit, Lexington's kinda beat up. Yeah, that's not a battle cruiser. That's going way too fast to be a battle cruiser. Well, I say that that's not true. It could have, in theory, been a battle cruiser. Just I didn't think it was particularly likely, and it turns out I was correct. It's one of their nice new invincible classes with the all forward design, which ain't doing so great. Because <laughs> you know, when you knock out all the turrets, it can't really shoot at you anymore. I mean, it has still one main gun, but it's a question of how long that gun will last, because, yeah. There's an unidentified ship that we're picking up on radar. Uh, yeah, Lexington's gonna go home as well. It's slowing down the Constitution. I I think we'll be okay. Now I don't quite know where the uh, transports are now. They've kind of you know moved and everything. So we're just sort of gonna make our way to the dr the landing point that they're supposed to go to. found the enemy. They seem to be over there, sort of as if they're trying to intercept all of my ships that are trying to get out of here. Kentucky's gonna keep going towards the landing zone. Just have lost track of them again. Actually, in theory, day may come, but I don't think it's particularly likely. This depends on how long it takes to mop up the rest of these guys. We really just gotta make them sitting ducks and they'll typically sink. He's running low on ammo. I think that was the Astoria there. So something's sort of following the Astoria. Oh shit, Constitution found some stuff, but these are probably transports. Yeah, enemy transports. Go ahead. Sink them. Oh no, that one's a destroyer. It was a destroyer. And then Kentucky back towards the drop off point. Uh, yes, Kentucky. Launch your float planes, because now you can. Rhode Island, don't bother. You're going home, Rhode Island. There's literally no point in you doing it. So, yep, nope, looks like day may actually come before we, uh, finish this. Which is a little surprising. Did not actually expect that to happen. But that's fine. Maybe we'll be able to find the ships we were supposed to transport again, because we kind of lost them. but they don't seem to have made it to their destination yet. There they are. That's 
probably what was slowing them down. This damn Amazon class up here. Probably kept forcing them to turn so they never quite were heading in the right direction. Oh shit. Whitney's going for the Kentucky. Kentucky hit a damn torpedo. Luckily you don't seem to have severe flooding. Get out of there, Kentucky. Go! No! Damn it! Rhode Island's the only Kentucky to live. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Where the hell are you guys going? You're not going the right direction. That's not a battle cruiser game. That is definitely not a battle cruiser. It is. I don't know why the hell you thought it was a battle cruiser. Okay, you guys, you just need to go straight towards the objective. If you do that, you'll be fine. Probably. So again, we're going to take heavier losses than I would have liked. Because we're going to lose two dreadnoughts, but we will have a successful landing at least. Oh, Brooklyn, what's your problem? Uh, flooding and engine hits and whatnot. Uh, Brooklyn, you go home, I guess. Constitution's gonna be, uh, finishing this escort duty all on its own. Transport 15 took a hit. See, this is one of the reasons why, for a little while there, my dr uh, destroyers, not dreadnoughts, I don't know why I keep wanting to mix those up, my destroyers here had a, a bit of a heavy AA factor. It wasn't much, but it was something. And it helps for these types of missions. Now, if that is in fact a CL, I want to sink it if I can. Or, excuse me, a CVL. Those guys are going to make it there. Go, CVL. If it is a CVL, I want it dead if I can. Come on, guys. I don't know what you're shooting at. I want the CVL. Less aircraft the enemy is able to have deployed, particularly away from these islands, the better. Oh, shit, that's the Argus. Well, that's not a CVL, guys. Yeah, you really screwed up that... <laughs> you really screwed that up. That's an Argus. Which is all the more reason to sink it. Of course. But still, you really screwed up. Your target identification. The Argus is not going to outrun me. Doesn't matter, my guys already made it. I already completed the objective. Okay, so I know I said the Argus isn't going to run away from me. It turns out it's going to, especially because I just took two friggin' torpedoes. We're out of here. Through this noise. I am not losing my battle cruiser. I already lost two frickin' dreadnoughts. My guys managed to successfully land, so this is all fine. Uh, 
I'm probably gonna end the part after this. Yeah, that'll be about the hour that I normally do anyway. Don't care, guys. Just go, go, go fast. Be like Sonic. You gotta go fast. Go. Sunga so Dreadnought, a battle cruiser, damaged a CV. Would have loved to have sunk it, but oh well. Heavier losses than I would have liked, but we succeeded. Okay, I don't care. Uh, enemy fortifications continue to hold up. Our flying boat sunk an enemy submarine. In a battle between the German and Italian navies, the Italian ship Corvette Montebianco and the German ship Corvette Stella have been sunk. Okay, people of Germany have raised a ridiculous sum of money by popular subscription to build a new battleship for the German Navy. We continue to ever so slowly bring radar to all of our stuff. And you can deploy this on everything, if I recall correctly. Even Corvettes, I think, can have it. Now, I wouldn't bother putting it on a Corvette directly, um, but it is technically an option. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Next part, we will be continuing this war that was broken up into two parts because the freaking British decided to surrender. Um, so, yes, we will be, like I said, continuing this war next time. We are currently invading both Nova Scotia and Grand Bahama at the same time. Grand Bahama should, in theory, be relatively quick to capture, I would think. Uh, New Providence should also be a fairly quick conquest. In fact, I could go ahead and toss in an invasion target on it, but that's quite a bit of money. We'll wait until, you know, something else finishes. Uh, luckily, taking Grand Bahama should give us air cover as well over New Providence. Although I think Miami also already gives it to us. After that, I suppose I got to take Port of Spain at some point. Yeah. So I kind of want to go for Hong Kong. And they don't have a lot of stuff over here in Southeast Asia. I should be able to just do that without actually fighting a battle, potentially. And they've taken their stuff out of the South Pacific. Where the hell did it go? I don't know. They had more stuff here in the South Pacific, but all of a sudden, it's gone. Did it go... Is it going around South America? To go somewhere? Like, maybe the Caribbean? I'm not sure. Because they're definitely not in Southeast Asia. You know what? Now that he's... I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but you know what, screw it. We're going to go ahead and launch Invasion of Hong Kong. We'll eat the cost of doing it. It's fine. It'll all be fine. I say knowing it probably won't be because we're kind of... We're tight on cash. We've never really been this tight on cash except for earlier on. I could probably do with scrapping some of this stuff that I got, to be honest. Some of this stuff, it's old. It's not useful. These 900 ton, well, the 900s are still sort of useful. These 700 ton Dales, I could scrap them, I suppose. 
That's a bit of cash back. I don't really need 23 destroyers in North America in the North American East Coast. It, I got 11 of those. Each one is 22. If my math's correct, that should be 2,200. Double check that though. But if my math is correct, that's what that should be. But I'm not. I've never been particularly good at math off the top of my head. Not, not quite apparently. Okay, it's 242. I, I don't know where the hell I. Wow, yeah. I don't know where the hell I was going with that. I don't know why the hell I was thinking 2200. That is way off. Either way, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and scrap these Dales. They're not useful. At least, not as much as some of the other stuff we got. Even the Jenkins are more useful just because they're bigger. Although... No, they're still kind of useful. They got six torpedo tubes, which is the same as the Jenkins, so they're still pretty good. <sighs> what do I do with them, though? I got nowhere to send them. That's not true. I'll put them in the Caribbean. Because... It turns out I don't got any destroyers in the Caribbean, and those might have been useful in that last battle. Okay, so that's going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time. Quick reminder, I do have a Patreon and a Discord. You can find links to those down below in the description. The Patreon is if you enjoy the content on the channel. That is the easiest and best way to help support the channel. For as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to all of my videos. As for the Discord, that I... That server is my go-to place for posting channel happenings, so I do recommend joining it if you want to stay updated on that type of stuff. But until next time, where we will be continuing this war, although I think it might potentially end in next part. Uh, potentially, we'll see. Um, once the battle ends in Nova Scotia, assuming it ends in next part, I'm probably going to move a bunch of my ships that I do have here in the North American East Coast to... Uh, support in northern Europe so we can maybe blockade the British because I think we need a little bit more support there to be able to do it I don't know off the top of my head how blockades are determined I believe you need to have some sort of percentage more than the enemy so I don't need to send a lot of stuff potentially there because the Germans have quite a bit they just need a little bit of extra oomph to get there so, yeah. Until next time, goodbye and farewell.